Hello friends, in today's lab we are going to see how to create and allocate home directory to active directory users in Windows Server 2016. The concept of home directory is fairly universal across all organization. Home drives allows end user to have their own network share folder with their own permission no matter what computer they log into. In this video we will see the steps to configure a Windows file server to support personal home directories. I will try to keep things as simple as possible with a single share folder and simple permission only set at the interface level. So before we start a demonstration, we need to create a one share folder on a drive or volume with a plenty of free space to store users data. So first of all, let's open Windows Explorer. On a e drive, let's uh, create a one folder, name home dir. Okay, and uh, let's create the share folder by using the file and storage services from Saw Manager. Click on shares. Here we have a certain share folders. Let's create a new share. Select a zombie share quick profile. Click on next. Now select the path. Click on browse. On a heat drive, select home directory. Select the folder. Click on next. Now let's put a dollar symbol at the end of the share folder. That means they just stop the folder being visible to someone browsing the network. In simple words, we can say this will create a hidden share. Click on next. Now let's enable access based enumeration for better security. Click on next. And here at the setting level, the permission is everyone full control. But we are also going to set NTFS permission. So let's customize it. Click on customize permissions. First of all, I'm going to disable the inheritance. Select convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. Remove both user entry. Okay, so now as you can see the administrators, system and creator owner has a permission on this folder. Now add your group. In our case, our group is HR users and both users named David Smith and Justin Roy are a member of our HR users group. Let's select the principal and let's specify HR users, click on check name, click on OK. Now the permission will be allowed and the permission will apply only on this folder only. Click on show advanced permission and let's set a permission to reverse folders and execute files, list folder and read data, read attributes, read extended attributes. And that's it. Click on OK, click on Apply, click on OK, click on Next and this is the confirmation. Click on Create to create the share folder. Now as you can see the share was successfully created. Click on Close and that's it. Now we have a one share folder name Home Directory. Okay. Now let's access the share folder. Let's see path, specify the name of our server and that is lab D01 slash home dir and the dollar sign at the end of the share hit enter and as you can see the folder is accessible by administrator and on a e drive let's open a home directory right now we do not have a, any folder inside that let's copy the path and click on close now let's go back to the active directory users and computers to perform the next step and that is allocate the home folders to the users now Select the user, David Smith, just right click on it and select property on a profile tab. Click on connect. Let's specify the drive letter H for home directory. Now specify the path slash percentile username percentile. Click on apply and this will the user's name that is the local name of our user david.s and click on OK. Let's specify the same for our user Jason Roy. Click on profile. Let's specify the travel letter. Let's specify the path. Percentile. Username. Percentile. Click on apply. Click on OK. Now suppose if you have a multiple user, you can select all those users. Right click on it. Select property. And select the profile. And select home folder. Now click on connect. Let's specify the travel letter hash. And then specify the path. Then slash, you have to specify the username percentile. 
So if you have a multiple users, so that time you have to specify the path like this. But already we specify for our both users, so I'm not going to specify now. Let's see the property of our user, Justin Roy. And that is the folder name is Jason.r. Now if you see on our home directory folder, we have a two folder named Jason.r and David.s for our user David Smith. If you see the property, and if you see the security, David Smith has a full control on the share folders. Now let's check on our client computer. Earlier login as our user David Smith, and uh, if you see the Windows Explorer, click on this PC right now. We do not have a map drive over here. Click on close. Let's uh, sign out from our user. Let's log in with the password of our user David Smith. Okay, and let's again open the Windows Explorer. Click on this PC, and here we go. Now we have a uh, one narrow location map drive is there named david.s and this is the path now here our user can store his data so now our user has his own home directory named david.s and this is the way how you can set up a home directory for active directory users